In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up a fine-tuned chat model to create an AI that can sound exactly like you or like a website that you are working on. For this tutorial, I'm using Moonlit Platform, which is a no-code tool builder, and I'm using the new Personas feature here. I've got one set up already called SEMrush Writer, which is trained on SEMrush's blog. Let's test it out to see how it runs. So I'm going to pick one of these sample prompts at the bottom, which pre-fills it in here. And then I hit run, and then it's going to create a blog post based on this prompt. And it's going to compare the actual result with the fine-tuned persona and the base model. So you'll be able to see the differences in the original text, the AI generated text with the fine tuned model, and then the comparison with the base model, which has no fine tuning. So after running the prompt, we have three comparisons side by side. This one on the left here is the original blog post that was used in the training. This one in the middle here, the similarity score is 91%, meaning that the content is very similar, but not exactly the same. And you can see that the wording choices that the fine-tuned persona use are very similar to the original article. And then here's the base model, which has a similarity score of 76%, and it's totally different from the original. So this goes to show how much better a fine-tuned model is at matching the tone of voice and writing style of your training data. Moonlit also has a knowledge base that you can use to store brand guidelines and writing content guidelines. But I've found that creating fine-tuned personas produces much better content, even compared to a model that's leveraging a knowledge base full of instructions and information. Once you've created a persona, you can use it in any chat model within Moonlit's editor. So I just need to add a chat model function and then I can change the chat model to one of my predefined personas. So here's a walkthrough of how to set up your own persona. First up, you'll need a team or a business plan on Moonlit. Only the team and the business plans have the fine tuning features. Next up, you'll need to make sure that you have enough credits. Training a persona uses a couple thousand credits. In my example, I have one here to train and it's going to cost 1500 credits. If you have a team or a business plan, you'll get 30,000 to 100,000 credits per month, which is plenty of credits for fine tuning a model. Next up, when you're in Moonlit, you're going to want to head over to the new personas feature here on the left sidebar, and then you're going to want to add a new persona here. When you create a persona, you give it a sitemap. So I'm going to give it the sitemap of my blog, and it's going to use up to 50 pages for the training. So I enter my sitemap, I hit validate sitemap. I give it a name, and I can even remove specific pages if I don't want to use them for the training. Then you hit prepare training data, and you give it a minute, and when it's ready, it's going to look like this, and there's going to be a start training button. So I'm gonna hit start training, and it'll say it's gonna use some credits, and I hit start training again, and then it's going to start training a fine-tuned model based on my blog. And when this model is ready, it's going to create content that sounds a lot like how I write naturally. You can use this for your personal website, your company website, clients' websites. Moonlit makes it really easy to create fine-tuned models. And then you can create apps that use your fine-tuned models and your knowledge base to make way better content than you could with ChatGPT alone or Claude or DeepSeek. Fine tuning works better because it actually changes the weighting of certain words. When a chat model outputs text, it's trying to guess the next best words to use based on the prompt you've given it. And each one of those words has a certain weighting. When you fine tune a model, it changes the weighting score based on the input of all of the training data. That's why it's able to generate content that is so much closer to the original. You can definitely specify writing styles without fine tuning, but it's not going to perform as well or be as accurate. Now that my fine tuned model is complete, I'm ready to test it out and I can even build an app using this model. Let's test it out first. I'm going to give it a fun prompt about a short story on the perfect day, and we'll compare that to the base model and see how it performs. Because this fine-tuned persona is based on my blog, it should have a better idea of what my perfect day would look like. 
And here's the comparison. So the fine-tuned persona was able to guess that I'm South African and was able to craft a nice short story about some adventures in Cape Town, hanging out on the beach, enjoying some spicy food and watching TV. And then the base model's perfect day, which has no fine tuning or training data, is totally random and is nothing like me at all. So the fine tuned persona did a way better job of writing out my perfect day. Now I'm going to create an app using this persona. When I click on that, it's going to make a super basic app for me here. Here's an example output. It has a pretty close writing style to what my blog looks like. And everything on my blog is entirely written by hand. So all of the fine tuning was 100% my writing going into it. Now I can add more functionality to this app. For example, I can retrieve knowledge from my knowledge base, put that in front of the chat model. Then I can give it a query such as the Google quality guidelines, which I do have stored in my knowledge base. And then I can add that into my app as well. Then I can use fine tuning and knowledge bases to create any kind of app that I need. And I can even set up bulk runs to create content using my fine tuned model in bulk. So that's how you can easily set up fine tuning to create custom chat models that sound exactly like you or like your training data. The app that I built this on is called moonlitplatform.com. It's a no code drag and drop AI workflow builder. I'll post the link to it so that you can try it out and set up your own fine tuned models.